Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kathy. Today I just wanted to show you a really easy crisscross card. Um, this is something that I think I saw originally on Split Coast Stampers. So I'm just going to show you my version um, of how I make it and um, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need, I tend to make a lot of 6x6 six six cards. It's just my go-to kind of size of card that I like to make. So um, what you're going to need for this card is two 6x12 um, pieces of cardstock. And what I've done is I've scored them each at the 6 inch march mark. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold them in half so that you can actually see where this the middle score line is. And I always use a bone folder when I'm ever making score lines. I just find that it makes the crease a bit more defined. So this is going to be my left side. So um, what I need to do with this one is I need to cut out a diagonal to create the crisscross for the left side of the um, paper. Sorry, it's just out of focus there. So the first thing I'm going to do is on the left side, I'm going to be cutting out <clears throat> a diagonal. So. Um, how you want to do that is you want the bottom corner to be at the bottom of your um, the bottom corner needs to be at the bottom in your paper trimmer and then you need to line it up to the top of where your score line starts so I'm just going to be cutting that out So that is your left side of the page. And then on the right side, it's the same thing. I just take my um, piece of cardstock, I fold it in half just so I can see where the score line is. And I'm going to be cutting um, the angle from the bottom right corner up towards the um, score line. So you're doing it sort of the opposite way, I suppose. Okay, and then what I do is I just adhere um, the two pieces together because this is what's going to form your Chris Carr's part. You can actually make this card in any size that you want. You basically just need two pieces of cardstock cut at the same size and then you want to score it in half from there and then you need to create your um, crisscrosses so you can actually do it in any size of card that you want so I'm just lining up one over the other I do um, this is you know it does make the back of this card quite thick but I actually don't mind that so and then what you're going to be doing is crisscrossing them down like that over each other and creating this pocket in the top so before you adhere the pieces down you actually want to put your pattern paper on um, your two crisscross sections before you adhere it down. So I'm going to do that quickly now and then at the end I will show you the completed um, card, a couple samples of cards that I have made. So for this um, one I wanted to use the new um, Claire paper pack from Close to My Heart. So I just took a 6x6 six six, um, square and I cut it diagonally and then I'm just going to be using that to adhere to my criss um, my crisscross sections. Okay, so now that you've put your um, pattern paper onto the crisscrosses, what you're going to be doing is adhering them down. So the first thing you want to do is adhere. Um, I tend to cross my cards left and then the right on top. So you can do it the opposite way if you want. But um, what you're going to be doing is putting the adhesive along the bottom edge of the inside of the card. And then crossing over the side that you like 
um, crisscross first, so in my case it's the left. Adhere that down, and then I'm going to be putting the adhesive right on that edge, on that cross, and then I'm going to be crossing. Oops, I'm going to be crossing over the right, the right edge. Um, so for the inside of the card, what I've done is I've cut down um, solid cardstock. I've cut mine down at five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths, and that way it's going to be able to slide in and out of the card fairly easily. So. Um, and actually, if you do it this way, it is going to be sticking up a little bit um, so that you might want to trim it down if that's something that bothers you. Um, so that when you, because the adhesive's on the bottom, so you're going to lose that sort of edge down there. So, but um, this is okay for me. So I'm going to be decorating the outside and inside of the card, and I'll come back and show you a couple samples of crisscross cards that I have made completed. So I did, I've finished making a couple samples of my crisscross cards. So the first one that I made is actually going to be for my daughter's um, birthday party. So <clears throat> what I did is I used um, one of the stamp sets that coordinates with the Claire um, paper pack. It's actually a really cute stamp set. I'm going to show it to you quickly. Um, so basically there's the girl and then you have different options for... Um, almost making like paper doll kind of stamps or clothing that you can put around her. So um, w the, what I'm going to be doing with this though is um, when you pull out the, the card, I'm actually going to have all the instructions for her birthday party and where it is and the time and everything. So I'll do that probably on the computer and then put it on cardstock and then I'll adhere it down there. So that is um, one that I made for my daughter. And then the other one I made is a birthday card. So this one is, um, you know, fairly, fairly simple card. It's, there's not a lot to it. And then you pull it out <clears throat> and I just, when you have stuff inside on the inside card, you have to have everything flat. So I, I tend to like to use pop dots, but in this case I couldn't for inside the card. So I just added a few of the sparkles and then this is a place for where I can write my message to the recipient of the card. So I hope that that inspires you to make some of your own um, crisscross cards. They're really easy and they're actually really fun to make and I like how they come together. Um, so I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that you try one for yourself. And if you have any other ideas or um, things that you'd like to see me make a tutorial on, please leave your messages on the um, in the comment section below and be sure to check out the rest of my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.